with the Deep Probe, the SMNI Presidential Candidates Interview. And again, one hour went by so quickly. So we're down to the last question for our last candidate for the evening. To start off with our last question, Professor Carlos. Okay, there is a, I know Mr. Marcos that... Professor Carlos, I know you're, you're gonna love me for this. You're wearing your sunglasses again. I'm sorry again. <laughs> Ay, mag-forgive na kayo, ha? You will all be 75 also. <laughs> Unless you die young. Hello. Humirit <laughs> pa yan. Okay. Um, yes, ma'am. I have a sense that this will be the last time I shall interact with you in a venue like this. So, let me introduce something which I have tested in my class on elites in politics. And this uh, involves moving into an area called predicting mm -hmm. leadership decision-making. So I hope you don't mind if I give you three short questions, but they are related to each other. And it will give our people a chance to know you in terms of your leadership style. The first question is, do you think that you're basically an optimist? rather than a pessimist? Number two, do you think you are basically a high risk taker rather than a low risk taker? You'll notice the two are related. And the third question is, do you think you are Machiavellian? Well, uh, the first question is if I'm an optimist uh, or a pessimist. I'm essentially an optimist. And the reason I'm essentially an optimist, uh, because especially when we talk about the country, I, we, we, can, we are optimists, I am optimistic, because we are, our biggest asset is the Filipino people. And I am, it's not, it's not, uh, I, I, be, I try to be very objective about it, ma'am. I have traveled all over the world. I have not met a better people than Filipinos in every, every possible, every possible way. Uh, am, I, am I a risk taker or not? When it comes to national issues, I am ten towards a conservative only because a mistake will cost so much suffering to so many people. In other words, you have to be very careful with the decisions you make. And it's not something that you do offhand. You think about it very hard. You talk to as many people as you can. And you make absolutely certain that you have done everything that you can possibly do uh, to make whatever your plan is, to make it work. Am I Machiavellian? Well, I've studied him quite thoroughly, uh, and I know very many Machiavellians uh, in my life. But um, I, I, I... Is it Machiavelli in terms of taking every means uh, to, uh, yes, yes. to produce an end? Not the other Machiavellian, you know, uh, the bad Machiavellian. Ah. Well, the <laughs> uh, certainly um, the the we have to we have to be aware of everything uh, that is going to help whatever it is that you are hoping to achieve. And as on a national scale, that means you have to understand very well what the situation is on the ground. Ganito kasi, at sitwasyon ng mga tao, eto na ngayon sila. Kakada, uh, na, nasa gitna pa ng pandemya, walang trabaho yung mga yan. Maasa pa rin yan sa, uh, uh, sa tupad, sa IX, etc. O, paano tayo lalabas niyan? Where will the, you know, what's the other, what are the other countries doing? Kailangan maging maingat uh, sa, ano, so, I suppose, in, in the same sense, as you say, that these questions were related, uh, it's a way of being careful and being very, very knowledgeable about what are the things that have to come into play so that you will achieve success, whatever that success, however you define that success. So in that sense, yes, ma'am, I am a Machiavellian. Yeah, thank you. Uh, in future, if you have time, please come to the university and I will discuss with you. It's called the Operational Code Construct. Thank you very much. Oh, I would love that. Thank you so very much. Thank you.
So sorry, I know we were getting requests for extension, but we want to be strict about keeping it to one hour for all the presidential candidates. So, Senator Marcos, you have the floor for your closing remarks. Well, uh, uh, first of all, I thank again our panelists and SMNI for this opportunity to speak on the many issues that uh, have yet to be explored. Uh, and uh, the, the, the format as well, I think, is quite constructive. So thank you, thank you to SMNI for that. Thank you to, to our panelists here. Uh, we, I hope to continue to lay out what programs uh, that form a part of the platform, the planks of my, the platform, for the uh, possibility of, for the next administration, for the possibilities for the next administration. And that's why such opportunities, uh, opportunities such as this are very, very important. And I hope that we have been able to impart some of the ideas that uh, we are, I am examining and trying to put together to, to bring uh, to the next administration should I be uh, elected uh, to the presidency. So we hope that we continue with this, with this discussion. I hope that people come and think about it. And if they have any ideas, uh, please come and tell us uh, because we need to hear from everyone. We need everyone. That is, uh, that, is the, that is the cry of the unity team, is that we cannot say that anyone uh, is not needed. Everyone is needed in this effort that we are trying to do to get through the pandemic, to recover our economy from the problems that the pandemic has brought, and to position the Philippines to face the new world order and what will happen in the next few years. So thank you all very much and uh, thank you for the opportunity.